Hey guys, day 28 on the what? You know this, the carnivore diet. If you would, please take a moment, smash the like button, it really helps the algorithms, and subscribe. I'm gonna be coming at you with a lot of good recipes here soon, and some good ideas. You know, I think one of the best ideas I've had in a while was the was the uh, pork rinds. Man, those were so good. I'm gonna be going to get a few more bags of those today. Today, today, <laughs> sorry. So today, what we got is we got pork loin. Pork loin that we prepared, uh, when I say we prepared, I mean actually Darlene prepared. So she took six, uh, She okay, she cut the pork loin, put them into pork chop looking pieces of meat. Uh, six of them, she took a half a stick of butter, and I haven't tried it yet. I'm looking forward to it. Now, to be able to help you know, I mean, always gonna have that sour cream there. Gotta tell you, I'm gonna have to be watching that sour cream because I was sneezing outside. I'm in Tennessee. And if you're in one of those states, you know, where you've got a lot of allergies, which is a lot of them, um, sometimes you gotta be really careful with that because you get too much dairy sometimes and you're gonna allergies and your sinuses or whatever is gonna start acting up. So, all right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go try a piece of pork loin. Now, this is, the, the piece I just showed you is a full one. And I cut some up prior to. So. Okay. So it was very tender. Very, very good. As you see over here, I've got two different types of cheeses. Mmm. This one is a sharp cheddar, I know. Both are. They both are. So, I mean, why is one of them? I know this sounds silly, guys. I know this one, the white one, doesn't have added coloring. Dye. Huh? Dye. And the dark one does? Mm -hmm. it's food mm. color. So, I'm being told it's food coloring. You know I'm new to this carnivore diet, guys. You know this. I'm, in a moment, I'm going to ask Darlene if she'll grab my uh, blood pressure cup, the white one. I'm going to show y'all where I came in today. Mm. My blood pressure's gone down a lot. Well, same as Ben. Feeling good, feeling great. Mm. You know what I did this morning? Consistency, guys. The only one thing in consistency is, well, being consistent, I guess. And, um, you know, when you're consistent with yourself, when you commit, it makes you feel so good. It just does. It makes you feel good about life. Hmm. Mm. You know... That's really good. Now these eggs, these eggs were prepared in the same skillet the that the uh, the pork chops were made in, and it had a lot of butter in there, sizzling. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, those are really good. Yeah, I have to. You know what? What do the eggs taste like with the pork chop? There it is, guys. There it is right there. Ooh. By the way, we're going to be looking for a griddle today. I might get one if I find a deal that I think is good. Mm, I need to, I, what I'm going to do, you're going to want to subscribe. I'm going to start grilling. And you know I can do it live. <laughs> I can. I haven't done any live videos. I haven't done any live videos. Want to do them live. Heck yeah. You know what? This tastes really good. And it's tasting good without the sour cream. I'm going to go ahead and take another bite. But I'm so, oh my goodness. I like sour cream so much, y'all. Mm. What? Do you have any sour cream over there? Mm. Darlene's eating the same thing I am. Yes, sir. That's my wife. <laughs> she's on this cardboard diet, too. Right now, she's kind of staying off air. Okay. She's going to start cooking for us, too. By golly, when I say Southern, that woman is Southern, boy. Whoo. And you can hear it in her voice. You will hear it. She's one of the kindest women you'll ever meet. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, she can cook. She can cook. Oh. Mm. 
See, when we first got together, I was eating. Mm, oh my goodness, I'm already in five minutes. Ah, I'm sorry. Um, I got to <laughs> When, uh, <laughs> when we, okay, so when Darlene and I first met up, right, we were eating whatever, but she started eating real strict plant-based, and then I never really got to enjoy her of her really good dishes, man. And she, raised in the South like that boy, and she can cook. Oh, man. Now I'm trying things like crazy, crazy awesome, like this pork chop. And here's the thing. Oh, oh my gosh. Mmm. 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 Guys, just keep out the processed foods, keep out the carbs, keep out the sugar, obviously. Keep out the processed grains. Go all meat. You know, a little bit of dairy. You know what I'm talking about. The sour cream, low carbs. Oh, man, I just love that stuff so much. That right there, if you keep that stuff out, carbs, the sugars, the seed oils, your blood pressure is going to come down. Um, mind you know this is medical advice. This is advice to just somebody that's done it. Whatever you decide to eat, you decide to eat. Oh my gosh. Why do I like sour cream so much? I don't know. Why do I like this pork chop so much? Oh, I think Darlene brought my blood pressure cuff. All right, so guys, I was eating a really strict plant-based diet, right? And if you're new here, welcome to the channel. So glad to have you here. If you're returning, man, I appreciate you so much. And if you've been here, I've, I've been doing this for a few days now. If you've been here, <laughs> man, I'll, whoo, one of the things I enjoy the most is coming on here and eating, showing you what I'm making. Oh, look at that. Sour cream, pork chop, the eggs. Talking about some butter, boy. Mmm. Oh, my gosh. Okay, hold on. Mmm, by the way. You go on this diet, it's going to, <clears throat> what it does is it builds your muscles, it makes them bigger. The protein, man, at night you go into a healing. And when you wake up, what has it been doing for me? I've been able to do more push-ups. I've been able to do more, more weights with my arms. It's just incredible. Really, really, really helping me out. And I, I just want to put the word out there because it's, it's crazy. Just crazy. Oh, yeah. I was going to show you the blood pressure cup. All right. So, hitting the memory one time. So, this is my left arm. Um, and I, I, I go from one arm to the other. You know what I mean? Because it can vary up. Yeah, as you know, with an arm cuff, these are going to read higher than a, well, the wrist cuff is going to read higher than an arm cuff. So, there's the 110 over 64 for you. And then, before that, this was my right wrist, 105 over 69. <clears throat> and it, it's true, it's crazy, but it, it is true. The, uh, <laughs> if you're not losing weight, they say the best way to lose weight is to eat more butter. Well, I gotta tell you, I wasn't acclimated or used to eating butter until, hmm, like three or four days ago? That's insane. You know, the old way I used to think, no, 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 that ain't gonna work. Yes, sir, it does. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my gosh, guys. You know what? Let's split this up. I'm having this cheese, y'all. Oh my gosh. So good, you guys. Say what? My wife says, Darlene, she says if we get a grill, she's gonna cook all the time. Which means I need to go ahead and get a grill. 
That sounds like a good idea. Actually, you know what? I think that sounds like a really good idea. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my word. Ugh. So, carnivore diet. Do you suffer on this diet? Do I feel like I'm missing out on anything? Do I? Do I? <laughs> Answer is no. I feel... I feel like I can eat as much meat as I want to. I can eat whenever I want to. I'm a lion in the wild. Once you get used to that concept, a lion in the wild or a lion in a cage? Do I have to eat at specific times? Do I have to eat specific amounts? Do I have to count my calories? Do I have to be concerned about... Huh? What was that? Oh. <clears throat> um, do, you know, do I have to be concerned about any of that? And the answer is no. No, no, no. No, what I have to be concerned with is eating of protein because by the time I go to bed last night I last night as a matter of fact last night I put four, four pork chops in the instant pot and I put them on for eight minutes I said I could put them on for seven put them on for eight it took about 10 minutes for it to for the pressure to come off of them I ate four pork chops before I went to bed didn't gain I mean you know some of you are concerned about weight and I get that but no I didn't gain a single pound but what it does is that when you get that protein in there, it goes into your body and it heals you. It's, yeah, it's just crazy. You know, one other thing that I, I will mention to you is that the, uh, the the healing process, it makes you sleep really, really deep. When you wake up in the morning, you have tons of energy. Even if your brain's asleep, let's just, I mean, you know, like you're still waking up. You start to work out, you start to doing those push-ups, you can do more reps a lot of times than you have been able to do in the past. And what I mean by that is like, let's say, I'm just gonna give a, well, let's not take a random number. Let's say if you've 